Le député de Kent Nord. Okay. Mr. Speaker, in its throne speech last November, the government committed to creating an all nations and parties working group on truth and reconciliation to keep government accountable and give departments a greater understanding of the priorities of First Nation in response to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's calls to action. Now more than ever, the work of this committee will be very important. We did not hear about this again until the Minister of Public Safety seemed to reference that it has already met in question period last week. This was an idea that I suggested to the Minister of Aboriginal Affairs here in the Legislature over a year ago. The Premier says now is the time for action. Well, let's see action. Can the Minister of Aboriginal Affairs update the Legislative Assembly on the status of the All Nations and Parties Working Group on Truth and Reconciliation? The Minister of Aboriginal Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I couldn't agree more with the member opposite. It is a very unique uh, all parties and all nations working group. My belief, belief is if COVID hadn't have happened, we would have probably met by now. There was some time taken because both the province and the indigenous leaders had to pick and choose elders and chiefs and individuals that would sit on this committee. And as you know, once it sits, it'll be reporting to the standing committee for social policy. Um, within the next two weeks, maybe even much quicker, we're going to make a public press release of all the members of, of the committee. And, and my feeling is it'll be meeting this summer absolutely and, and probably sooner than later. Thank you.